Okay, seems that we are alive. Hi everybody, uh, this is me, Gleb, and as you can see the layout changed a little bit. Uh, it is raining outside today and so we are inside my place. So what we are doing today is, it is arguably the most exciting part of any build, the final assembly. So these guitar in maybe in an hour or so, maybe a bit less, uh, it will become an actual guitar that you can play and pretty much it will be finished and done. So the oil finish turned out really well. It's like really black, like really metal guitar. Like you see, I've, I've got some guitars lying there on the back, the pictures of the guitars. So actually the inspiration for this guitar it's right there. So it's hanging on the wall. So uh behind me on my desk uh, I have set up the order of operations. So we he you see a few piles of things here. So first uh we are going to install the bridge, uh the tuners, probably the pickup, so work on the front of the guitar. And then we are going on the soldering, the electronics, so everything that is in the back of the guitar. So, yeah, I will probably move you uh, a little bit to the front so that you can see a bit more of what's going on here. And if I were you, uh, after I just switch the view to here, uh, if I were you, I would uh, press the option of, you know, 2x. I think YouTube allows to play videos in, you know, two times. Or if you're watching now, uh, you will watch it in real time. But then if you are watching the recording of this, then it's probably best idea to put it on 2x and then speed it up. And it's, it's probably going to be, you know, still fun to watch. So pretty much let's, let's get going. And if you tuned in, thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's get this done. So excited. Yeah, I'll just move you here so that you could see a bit more of my workbench. So this should be good, right? Okay. So yeah, that's, that's my workbench. This is where things are going to be happening. All right. So to start off, uh, I prepared the bridge. Wow, it's so shiny. <laughs> so the bridge placement on a guitar, uh, it is very important. And if you don't get the bridge placement right, uh, pretty much the whole guitar, it's, it's going to sound bad and out of tune. And so I did it off camera and the way I did it is I the small piece of paper, it would happen to be guitar shaped, can be any piece of paper. So I put it on the guitar, stick it in place with some tape, and then basically found the center line, and then found the found the place where the bridge should go. Uh, and it pretty much depends on the many things, uh, but uh, it's it's not hard. It, it's just you know. A bit of drawing and using the rulers and all that so I just did it off camera it was not really fun but now uh, if you can see here I've marked the holes five holes to be exact where the bridge should go so I'm going to just drill it in right now so and here is the bridge without the saddles obviously I've got my trusted drill here And mm -hmm. where is it real? Okay, that's the one. And so this is a nice little trick if you want to drill something. 
I don't want to go past certain point, what you can do is you can put a bit of a masking tape or the drill. See the light? Okay, and there is some garbage because I'm at home. I'm just putting this inside the pickup cavity for now. And then I'll go put it somewhere else. I need to be perpendicular to the guitar body as much as I can. This is not super important. Uh, but at the same time, it is quite important. So I'm taking my time to make sure. To make sure it's in the right spot. Just, just like this. No mess. And the home stays clean. Again, this is a base wood body, so it's very, very soft. So drilling inside the base wood is very, very easy. So I don't really have to put much pressure on the drill to do it. Like no pressure at all. And so the reason for drilling the holes so even those screws for the bridge okay. uh, they can pretty much go in this wood but then if I pre drill the holes just makes things easier huh? you kind of feel feel for the short ah what ah yeah so uh, I do use my t-shirt just underneath the guitar and this is no t-shirt and I was doing sport in it so it became kind of yellow and now it's all you know it's all dirty you wouldn't wear it anyway even before I started to use it as padding for the guitar So don't worry about the t-shirt, it is all right. No one would wear it anyway, so might as well use it. Okay, so these are the five holes done. All right, actually I might put you a bit further up. Okay, yeah, this is probably better. Now you can see a bit more of me and me talking here. So yeah, that's it, we can put the bridge in uh, yeah, let's do it. Here is the bridge. Okay, seems right. And these are the five screws. So some people prefer putting it in with a power drill. But then for me, I feel like uh, if you put in with uh, just a normal screwdriver, uh, it's a bit, I uh, know, less risky because if you come off with a drill, you can leave a mark in the guitar, so I don't really want any marks in my guitar. So I'll just put them in by hand. Okay, make sure everything is in the right spot.
then I'll start with the back because this hole uh, I'm sure I put it in the right place so this is my reference point Okay, and the last one. Okay, so now I'll just put them all in. Nice and tight. I'm sending them in a straight way and if you think that this is uncomfortable then you're right I would really want a higher bench for doing all this but that's all I got so yeah here we are standing in a very strange pose putting the screws in Whew. Okay, that's tough. Uh. Okay, uh, one more here. I think I'm done with the workout for today. Oh, has been tense. very careful not to over tighten them because I don't want to strip out the wood well here we go the bridge is in place so what we can probably do now is we can put the saddles on the bridge so I got all the saddles here so let me just uh, new and then put all of the saddles inside so these are little things that <laughs> i love you too <laughs> and yeah these are the saddles let's do it okay so i'm not alone today i've got my <laughs> you want me to marry you Let's do it. What do you think about this summer? Let's do it this summer. Sounds like a good plan. Right, guys, thank you very much for support and for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's put the saddles in. <laughs> Actually, it's a f probably one of the first times I get something written in chat, so that's that's interesting. Okay, saddle number three. Oh my god. That's so tired from putting in the bridge. It was a real workout. Okay, actually about the bridge.
placement. So uh, I made sure that the bridge is placed in a way that uh, you still have adjustments to the left and to the right to make sure the guitar sounds really nice. So the scale of this guitar, it's a really small guitar, it has a scale of uh, 52 centimeters or 520 millimeters. But in case there is some variation, uh, you can adjust maybe five, mini five millimeters more or five millimeters less for each string. Okay, just one more. Okay. Let me show it up close. You've got a very shiny bridge in place now. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw away these little things or might as well leave them here. So the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to put the pickup in here. Oh yeah, I'll just wipe things away. Okay, no more sawdust inside. All right, so uh, let's talk pickup placement. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward, but just one thing I want to make sure is that uh, I put the nut in. Where is my nut? Okay, here it is. So here is the small nut for this guitar. So the thing that I want to make sure is then uh, when I put the strings on this guitar, uh, I want the strings to be above the respective things on the pickup. So let me just check how it goes. Now it really starts looking like an actual guitar. <laughs> Actually, there is no much room for adjustment. So let's see what it's like. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then I'll probably just, you know, put it in. And this looks good, but this part. Oh, this looks good too. Hmm. So, so yeah, I'll just. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's just do it by eye. Sharp little thing for marking the holes. Yet best quote of today. Which quote? Which 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 one do you mean? What is the best quote? Did I say something that I missed? So, so which which one are you referring to? I'm curious. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, that's that's not easy. That's not hard. Okay, so. So it looks like this is this pot. Where is my nut? <laughs> yeah, my nut is right here. <laughs> but I know what you mean. <laughs> ah. But this is this is ch children friendly stream, so my nut is here and only here. something to mark it with so I will probably use one of my drills so is it big enough no that's actually too big so this one Okay, just double check if everything is right. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are pretty much on point. So All right. Yeah, looks looks right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is this is correct. Let me check something here. It's about seven millimeters out. But this one, hmm, actually, this one is one centimeter out, which is is not right. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is not perfect. So let me take my pencil and mark a better location. So essentially, this point needs to be one millimeter lower, which is here, and this point needs to be one millimeter higher, which is here. Same goes for two other points. Let's check now. That's about 
eight or nine. Here it's about eight or nine as well. Okay, we've got the perfect placement. So let me just take my sharp thing. Oh, yeah, is that it? Yeah, right, it's, it's true, I've got 51 subscribers, but I actually got 54. Hmm, let me see. So who joined us recently? Ah, I see. So Abdurrahim Duraboyev subscribed us sometime meanwhile. And there are two more. I'm not sure who they are, but Abdurrahim, if you're here, uh, you're very welcome. And thank you for joining as a guitar builder, my guitar builder family. Uh, it's, yeah, good to see you here. Enjoy. And for other two people, I think uh, when people subscribe and uh, they don't turn some function, so if they want to stay private, I will not see it. So that's why, you know, we have 52 public subscribers and two more are secret, secretive guys. <laughs> All right, so let me mark the holes and go on. Okay, got that one. Got that one too. That one. And this one. Okay. So for these holes, I also have prepared the drill bit. Also with the with the death stop. Your ears. Oh, was it too loud? I'm sorry. Okay. All right. It's not in the right spot. Okay. Okay, so all right, that is that is done. Uh, let me just throw away the little trash. Okay, so what we can do now is we can mount the pickup. Here it is. I have no idea what this pickup is, just some default pickup. Nothing special about it. But it, it, should, it should do its job. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident it will sound all right and will do exactly what is, it is intended to. Again, this guitar, it's it's not trying to be some like prof very professional guitar. This guitar is more of a travel guitar or something. If you want your kid to start playing, uh, you know, this is what they could pick up and it has a shorter scale. You know, you could probably put it in your backpack or 
or again it's really easy for kids to play it oh some more workout with putting in the screws here you go okay let me just mark them okay go here opposite side you go here oh yeah now I see the placement is now really really on point it was a bit off point when I first did it but now when I measured it with a ruler it's all right so Measure, measure, cut. Okay, there you go. You got the pick up in place. Okay, now let's go over, switch to the tuners in the head of the guitar. Oops, so let me bring all of the things associated with them. Okay, that's a lot of things. I, I should probably flip the guitar over. Uh huh, just realized something here. All right, that's okay. Ah, no, no, no need to switch it over and we'll just flip it back so I'll just install the tuners in the line and then if you have something to say it's probably a good time to message mm -hmm. okay So let me just put it a bit closer to what's happening here. So you can you can see a bit more of that. Oops, flipping over. So I'm not trying to tighten them them up just yet. Just trying to put them in place. And there is one fun or not so fun thing about this guitar in relation to tuners. Then I'll share it with you in a moment. So, you know, when you have to put the tuners in, you've got this little hole for the locations where the little, the little screw goes. And uh, apparently the company that shipped this guitar to me they forgot to put in the little screws so we are going to have uh, I'm going to have to order them and then put them in later yeah yeah I do I do read the chat so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm here if you would like to talk the last one
So again, I'm yet to tighten all of them. So now they're kind of wobbly. So now I'm going to put them in line and tighten them. <laughs> now I have to figure out the way how to deal with those missing little screws. I didn't figure out figure it out just yet. But what I'm thinking to do is just let it be for now and then later on we might do something about it Hmm, something is wrong with this one. Let me let me check it. Hmm, it's behaving very strangely. It's like I cannot tighten it up. Yeah, something is wrong here. Definitely. Let me check what's wrong with it. That's very strange. It reaches a certain point after which it's it just it just stops working. I guess that's what you get when you order a cheap cheap build, cheap guitar kit. Hmm. I had no idea this was possible. So what's happening? I'm trying to tighten it down, but well nothing is happening. Like nothing at all. And I'm not sure what the issue is. Has to be with this part being wrong. So let me put it away for now. I'll figure it out. Let me try to switch it switch it over with another one. Okay, so here is here is an issue. One of the six tuners is not working. So which one shall we shall we remove? Something in the middle.
This is a bit sad. This one is not working either. Alright, we will get back to it a bit later, I suppose. So these two tuners, something is wrong with them. I have to figure it out later. Uh, maybe after we get done with the rest of the build. Let me just... Oops. So, yeah, I will deal with it a bit later, I guess. Just let them be for now. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a guitar with four strings. It's gotta be a bass. All right, so. Now that the front is done, for the most part, it's, it's time to turn to the back. And so the back is actually mostly going to be about electronics and soldering. So there is a small cavity for electronics. Uh, I will just put some aluminum, aluminum tape inside and then I'm going to take out my soldering iron and then just solder it this is how it goes so there is aluminum tape right here so it's going to prevent some really un unwanted buzz that can happen so this actually acts like an insulation from the electric signals from outside the guitar like radio you know some guitars they can you can hear a radio playing in some guitars and so this aluminum tape is going to prevent this from happening and this is a very small cavity so I don't actually need much Hold it. Here is the tape. Now I need to put it inside. Hopefully this will not be a challenge, but it, it, it certainly can be a challenge. Got it in there. I probably should bring you a bit more up close, to be honest. So 
So this is this is a bit better. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm putting in the aluminum tape inside. Okay, this this way is probably better. So you can see the aluminum tape in here. So my goal is to make it all over the place. Then scalpel blade can be very handy. Just cut the corner, put it like so. Same thing cut here, put it like this. So and if I have extra bits and pieces, I'll just have to cut it later. I let it be for now. So I'm cutting a small place or a small hole inside the tape for where the jack will go do you see there is a place for a jack interesting yeah glad you like it so for if you just came in, so the big picture is uh, building an electric guitar, and this is the pretty much the final stage where I'm putting it all together. So now we are doing electronics, and we are soon going into soldering. So stay tuned. Okay, let, let me figure out. Okay, okay, this looks like a good good angle now I've got an issue that I put the <laughs> the pickup before I was supposed to do it but I don't think it should be big big of a deal at all Cut it with my finger. Just put a piece here, a piece here, because why not? part as well ok 
can put a piece here to make sure everything is connected. So that's access. Need that. Need this either. Okay, just a bit more to go, just one little, one little thing. Okay, just cutting the excess with the scalpel blade. Mm -hmm. And maybe one last piece, maybe we will have more. So we probably will need more. Yeah, we will definitely need more because the bottom of the cavity. Let me show it to you. So the bottom of the cavity is still wood. Needs to be all aluminum. No, don't go away. Okay, I need some more for the bottom here. Yeah, this is where it becomes a bit tricky. Okay, it's, it's working out. It's, it's not perfect, but it is working out. not fun part uh, but it's necessary to make sure the guitar works really well Okay, so I now need to need to put in a few small patches, like really, really small ones, like this size small. Okay, let me put you back to the big picture of stuff because you cannot really see much of what's going inside there anyway. So, let's put you back to there. Almost done. Just a bit, a bit more to go.
another good way of doing what I'm doing right now would be used to use the shielding paint uh, which I don't have but then thinking about it this would be great to have some shielding paint this would make things so much easier it does the same job but you just apply it directly on the cavity you no know, need to hassle with those little things we call this alum aluminum tape uh, yeah so this would be much easier probably next time over or in the next build I'm going to opt in to use the shielding paint it is just so much easier to use okay so let me show you how it turned out So, yeah, this is what it is. Now, a few corners missing, no deal. So, uh, in the next few days, I'm I'm going to need to build a cover for this out of wood or maybe plastic, but not today. And it's it's, it's raining outside, so it's not a good day to go out at all. I'm so glad I'm done with this part. It's probably one of my least favorite things to do in the whole final assembly. So scalpel, move all, all the things out of the way. Okay, here we go. Just small hole here. Okay, so I think now we transition uh, into the part where I need to start soldering. So let me just clear my workbench out of these little aluminum things. Okay. So electronics. So in the electronic department, uh, we've got uh, just one potentiometer, which goes in this hole. I think that's a cable to mount it to the jack. And some, you know, other little details. Here is the jack. And yeah, now I need to put put everything together, basically. Um, now how do I do it? How do I do it? Actually, I don't know how to do it just yet. So I have to look up the diagram <laughs> for this kind of wiring. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think I just found it. That's it's a bit it's a bit problematic. So I've got my pickup. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so ground should go to the back of the volume pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably need to put it down again. Or, or not. So, wiring. Let's, let's, let's see how it goes. So I've got my small box with uh, wiring things in here. So most importantly, got my soldering iron. I've got something to solder with. Uh, okay, I think that's good. It's good enough. So I need to solder this small ear like this one of these to the back of the pot and there is so little I'm, I'm not sure how how I should do it how I'm supposed to do it like they're very little small how, how do I even do it Okay, uh, I think I got it. Yeah, so <laughs> let me show you up close. You see this? Focus, focus. Uh, this little one has to be soldered to the back of volume pot. So, okay, there is that. Now this should be soldered also to the back and this to here. And from here it should go to jack. Now this wire it's not stripped on this back, so I have to strip it. Yeah, actually, let me just put you down uh, to show a bit more of wiring and soldering. Again, it's it is essential. Uh, it's not super fun to do, but again, it is very 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 important to do it okay yeah yeah this works so just stripping the wire up to maybe here Let me just wash my hands quickly before I do all that. Okay, I'm back. So my hands are clean and dry. So I stripped this wire. So now I can, this is all of these little wires. This is the ground. So they all need to be together. Okay, now I need to strip one more. 
we told water. Okay, this was not one of the easiest tasks because it's it's very very tiny, but I got it. Look, okay, don't tell me I have to do it on the other side as well. No, no. Luckily, I don't have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think now it's, now it's time to solder. So these to the back. That's probably first thing I will do. Then some other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, these to here. Okay, let's do it. No more waiting. I need some place for my soldering wire to rest or soldering iron. So okay, I have have to be very careful, but this looks good. Now let's wait for it to heat up and then think about what we are doing first. This first. Actually, I want something to hold it with. How can I hold it? Probably put it in the guitar, to be honest. It looks like it's not hot enough just yet.
Hmm, doesn't seem to work the way I intended it to. Yeah, this is not beautiful, but this is what it is. Oh, and it's, it's very hot as well. Oof, this was hot. So next thing that I need to do is hmm, I need to work with this a little bit. Okay. Need to hmm, hmm. how do I do it? Uh, I would really, a, a third, a third hand would really help in here. Okay. Okay, this seems to be fine. Should probably switch to the back now. Uh, how to hold it? That's a question.
Okay, this is how we hold it in place. God, that's that's too far away. No, it doesn't work. Uh, oh my God, that's it's very lucky. Got this triangle with the hole. Look, this hole goes right here. Let's do it. I'm sure I can do it. Okay, that was some Okay Okay, okay, okay Okay, that's good that's good, that's good. So just just a few more things to do. Basically, this also goes here. Okay, this is this is not super clean, but it should work. That is all that matters for me, at least. So jack, how do we wire the jack? Okay, so it says that the inside part, this part is the ground, and this is the connection itself. Let's try. Let's 
piece. Just go from inside. Okay. Whew. So let me take it back. I think we just we just got a guitar that should should play. I'm not hundred percent sure, but. Well, at least according to my calculations, this guitar should play now. So everything is in place here, here as well. Everything is turning. The soldering is, it could be better. Let me just put it in and see. So I will, uh, I will put it together just like this. Ah, oh, wait. Should I have soldered it from the back? Maybe I should have. Okay, it doesn't matter for now. I can resolder it as long as it's work. It's working. test it. It's the, the guitar wire. It should not be in the way. I'll hold it with something. You see, you, you hear yourself? It means that 
This basically means that it's all working. Okay, this is good news. Oops, don't fall apart. All right. Uh, okay. So the soldering is done. Uh, there, there is one little issue. I think I should have soldered the jack after after the fact. Let, let's see if I can put it in. Still. Should be able to. Should be able to put it through. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. I can. I can put it in. Yeah, that's great. Otherwise I would have to resolder it. Okay, so Okay, let's make sure the volume pot is in place It's looking good. Okay, it's not going anywhere for sure. So uh, all right, the majority of the things are done. Uh, let me just clean up a little bit, like right here. So uh, the next thing I want to do is I need to mount this jack. Uh, should be should be pretty straightforward task. Again, just mark the locations. Uh, no ruler required, really. I'll just do it by eye.
I just turned on the side, drill those holes. Again, the material is very soft. Okay, that is done. The two screws. Okay, got the jack. So I would, I can actually put the strings on the guitar now. As a matter of fact, this part, I will deal with it later. And I'm also going to have a custom volume pod made for this guitar, but soon after. So, mm -hmm. now let me tackle another issue that uh, we ran into in the beginning. So the tuners, something was off about them. I'm not sure what it was, but something was off. Be right back. Yeah, the issue with uh, several of them, maybe two of them, uh, maybe just one of them, is that something something is not working as intended. Like the thread is not there. And I don't know what it's caused by. Hmm. What's the issue? I don't really feel like buying the new tuners for this guitar with the price point that it is. working not working so two out of four tuners are not working which is pretty sad so it's going to be a four string guitar, not a six string. I don't know what is what is wrong with them. Um, so 
So what I'll do right now is I'll probably string the guitar just with four strings and then I'll tackle the issue with the tuners. I mean, there is not much else I can do. And yeah, I will, I will probably have, I don't know, which string missing. Maybe the two lower strings to have an, a decent like bass, <laughs> bass guitar. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, one more tuner, one more tuner just broke. It, it just broke, that's it. It's not working. Something, something is wrong with the thread. No, it just broke. So we, we are now down to our three string guitar. Which is, I suppose it's, it's all right. Which is, which it's, it's obviously not all right. And it's actually very big of a deal. Okay, so let me sure, let me make sure everything is right here. Okay, okay, I'm now tighten, tighten them. So I'm not sure why they're they're breaking. Okay. Uh, yeah, these tuners are unfortunately very, very bad quality. So we are down to a two string guitar. I have no idea what caused this. I didn't do anything special. I don't tighten them too much or too little. Okay, two string guitar. I guess it's not that bad. We can, we can still play it. Right? We still can. So you know when I was buying this guitar I thought okay that's that's very cheap and it was like um, was it sixty dollars or something fifty to sixty and I thought wow that's cheap and they give you all the hardware that's that's a really good deal so I, I thought yeah that's great like maybe if I don't want to build this guitar I will take 
another guitar and maybe I can use this hardware for another guitar ah okay I see one more tuner broke so they're all broken five of them so well we've got one string guitar I guess let's let's put at least that string on and see how it goes uh, they even put the strings try to be and just to be safe I'm going to put the glasses on because these are wrapped really tightly and I don't want it poking into my eye Okay, I've got all the strings. Uh, let me take just the thickest one, which is low E. Just this string. The rest I'll probably do the same thing that they did. Alright, so you got one string. That's it. One string. right here So we've got one string onto it. Let me just quickly raise up the pickup so that we could 
here at least something. Now let me be honest here. I totally did not expect all six of the tuners, like all five out of six tuners to break. Like this was, this was really bad on the makers of these tuners when they break once you try to use them okay so i think that's that's as far as we get so let's let's try it loud Feels very strange to play one string guitar. What kind of songs can you play on one string? I have no idea. I mean, um, all right, so let's wrap up. Uh, it's been almost two hours. Oh my God, it's been long two hours. Let's wrap it up. Uh, so the guitar itself is all right. I mean, uh, the fret, the frets and all these, everything, the action on the string, I made sure that everything is really, really nice. But only one of the tuners is working. So the other fives are there, the five are there, they're just not working. And I'll have to figure out what I do about it. I don't know what you really can do about it but I mean here is a guitar you can probably play gent on this one string guitar so I'm happy with how everything turned out except for the six broken tuners and um, I'll probably will be back with the update on on you know what's what's up with this guitar and I gotta, I gotta find a way to 
to fix the tuners because potentially this is a really really fun guitar and I, I did I did really good jobs on job on the frets they're all leveled and crowned and the bridge placement it's it's on point as I see now so I'm actually just very sad that uh, whoever made this key guitar or or actually so this is how it came in so moose lady I mean you guys are awesome for what you do but uh, uh, that's very unfortunate that five out of six tuners broke and I think if I try to tighten this one a bit more it will break as well so yeah I'll have to find a way to you know to fix this guitar you know things are never easy and yeah when I fix it I will get back to you how it went but yeah once again this is uh, just a transitional project I'm planning to do another very big project with very nice wood and nice materials nice everything so things like this don't happen or things like tuners don't happen and yeah that is it this is the almost assembled guitar the control what do you call it the, the thing that covers it the cover I'm going to do it later the volume knob I'm also going to do it later and apparently the tuners I'll have to tackle somehow and also do it later so I was thinking that this would be the last video and as a matter of fact it's it's just not going to be the last video because I have many things to fix but for the people who were here today I'm very I'm very grateful uh, thank you for coming in and um, yeah you'll you'll see more of me in the future so yeah thank you for watching uh, you might join our guitar family by subscribing uh, or you can support me if you want all the links are in the description and for my Instagram channel where I post updates it's also in the description down below and yeah more to come about this guitar Yeah. No. Oh, thanks for watching and thank you for being here today and I'll see you more in future.